हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बायोकेमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पीके प्रभाकर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अनदर मिनरल बिकॉज़ दिस इज अ सीरीज ऑफ मिनरल्स वी आर डीलिंग नाउ एंड सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट जिंक सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सोर्सेस इट्स आरडीए फंक्शंस ऑफ बायोकेमिकल फंक्शंस ऑफ जिंक देयर रेगुलेशंस एब्जॉर्प्शन एंड सम ऑफ द एबनॉर्मलिटी व्हिच इज कॉल्ड ड्यू टू जिंक और जिंक टॉक्सिसिटी आल्सो वी विल डिस्कस Uh, so this is the chemical properties of zinc. If you see the atomic number of zinc is thirty. Uh, common symbol of uh, we are using zinc for zinc is Zn. And electronic configurations. Uh, is this, uh, here is the electronic configurations. Is it Zn? Uh, the crystal structure and amino acid property, acidic pro acid base property, and atomic weight is given here. Uh, some of the physical properties are also mentioned here. So more than that one, uh, what we are going to talk about, we will talk about the. its biochemical properties so first zinc is a trace element uh, why it is called trace element we have already discussed any mineral whose requirement in our body is less than 100 mg per day we are going to call it trace element so requirement for zinc is also very less uh, we require less than 100 mg so that's why it is falling into the trace element category uh, the zinc is mainly it is an intracellular element so most of the cases zinc will be present in our inside our cells so the total content of zinc in an adult human body is roughly 2 g and out of this 2 g more than 60% of it is present in the skeletal muscles and 30% is present in the bone uh, so these are the two major sources of means uh, the reservoir of zinc in our body uh, prostate gland is also very rich source of zinc or zinc is present uh, high in the high amount in the prostate roughly it will have 100 mg per g of prostate and the uh, zinc is also uh, present in the hippocampus area of our brain so other than uh, skeletal muscles and bone this is zinc is present in prostate and hippocampus the total uh, content of zinc in an adult human body is roughly 100 mg per dl in the and the um, other than uh, other sources erythrocytes that is rbc also also having the very high content of zinc that is roughly 1.5 mg per dl uh, which is associated with the enzyme carbonic anhydrase uh, you might have heard about the carbonic anhydrase which is associated uh, for the conversion of carbon dioxide and water into the carbonic acid and then it will be dissociated so carbonic anhydrase is one of the enzymes which requires zinc for their functions and the major sources of carbonic anhydrase is rbc or erythrocyte so that's why rbc having high content of zinc um, if you'll see the major uh, sources in terms of food sources or the uh, sources of zinc is uh, it is present in the egg milk meat pumpkin seeds sea foods uh, then cashew nuts or different other kind of nuts uh, oatmeal peanuts almond pumpkins lentils uh, tofu hummus cashew so these are the different uh, food sources of uh, zinc you can call it uh then uh, if you'll see the daily requirement dietary requirement requirement is uh, as age is growing on roughly it is in, uh, the requirement increases roughly if you'll see 0.6 uh, 0 to 6 month of age its requirement is 2 mg in case of male and female as age is growing that it is uh, its requirement increases okay so uh, roughly its uh, daily requirement in adult human being is 10 to 15 mg per day so if you'll see here in adult human that is 11 mg in case of male and 8 mg in case of female uh, during pregnancy and lactation it's roughly uh, increases roughly by 50% so uh, during pregnancy and lactations during the pregnancy it is going to increase so zinc requirement is roughly 10 to 15 mg per day and it is increased by 50% in case of pregnancy and lactations now come to the physiological function of zinc uh, so zinc is an essential uh, compound of several enzymes uh, one of the enzymes already we have seen that is carbonic anhydrase other than this carbonic anhydrase zinc is also associated with alcohol dehydrogenase adh alkaline phosphatase carboxypeptidase superoxide dismutase that is cytosolic superoxide dismutase rna polymerase these are the some of the enzymes which requires zinc for their function so uh, metallo ions you can call it metallo enzymes you can call it another fun second function is zinc is also associated uh, considered as an antioxidant as 
this is one of the important component of superoxide dismutase and superoxide dismutase is one of the antioxidant enzyme so that's why zinc is also if you don't have zinc this enzyme will not function so to perform its in this enzyme's functions we require zinc and zinc is because of that one it is considered as a antioxidant system of our body zinc is also associated or required for the storage and secretion of insulin from the beta pancreatic beta cells so without zinc uh, insulin will not be secreted or not be functioning so zinc also you can call it it protects us from the diabetic uh, zinc is necessary for the maintenance of normal level of vitamin a in the serum why because zinc is going to promote increases the expression of retinol binding protein so this retinol binding protein is normally going to help in the absorption of retinol from the intestine so because of zinc we are going to have high concentration of this protein expression and this protein is responsible for vitamin a absorption so necessary for maintenance of normal level of vitamin a zinc is also required for the wound healing uh, zinc enhances normally cell growth and cell division uh, other than that one it also stabilizes the biomembranes so wound healing is another or immunological functions of zinc you can call it gustin that is another a zinc containing protein which is present in our saliva and it is important protein which requires for this taste sensation if we don't have zinc taste sensation will not be there so gustin is required for taste sensation and that is zinc containing protein and the another function of zinc is it is essential for the proper reproductive processes reproductive functions so these are the some of the important physiological role of zinc in our body if you are going to summarize these zinc functions uh, almost all the essential uh, organ systems requires zinc like uh, zinc is required for endocrine system for growth hormone formation their secretions promotion uh, for binding of dna and sex hormones we require zinc then for the neuro system nervous systems we require growth of brain function and appetite sensation it also learned an unusual behavior we require zinc then if you are talking about the reproductive system for sperm formation for the stabilization of the esteric conformation of the chromatin into the sperm and ovum we require zinc uh, if you will talk about the visual systems for visual pigment formations or the formation or the expression of retinol binding proteins we require zinc for the immune system uh, for the atrophy of thymus and some of the specific infections fighting we require zinc when we are talking about the protein or enzymes there are many uh, enzymes which requires zinc or there are a number of proteins which is associated with zinc like carbonic anhydrase carboxypeptidase alcohol dehydrogenase then alkaline phosphatase uh, car superoxide dismutase carboxypeptidase other than that one zinc finger motif gustin proteins so these are some of the zinc proteins and enzymes which requires zinc other than that one you have already seen that zinc is essential for the insulin for uh, synthesis and their secretions so it is having anti diabetic activity also and it is also required for the fetal growth and fetal development so overall the function of zinc is required for almost all the body organ systems for the different functions how zinc is going to be absorbed in our body zinc is absorbed mainly in the duodenal region uh, in the small intestine uh, zinc uh, is going to we are having different sources of zinc like meat also have zinc and the vegetable sources also having zinc so zinc from the animal source is going to be better absorbed faster absorbed than the vegetable source so if we are going to eat uh, meat or non vegetarian foods that zinc which is present in the non vegetarian source will be absorbed better than the vegetarian sources zinc absorption depends on one of the specific transportation protein that is called as metallothionine so this protein is required for the absorption of zinc in the intestine there are number of factors uh, which affects the absorption process like phytates uh, oxalates calcium copper and some of the iron interfere uh, these things normally going to decrease the absorption of zinc in the intestine uh, a small peptides and amino acids normally increases the absorption so a small peptides and amino acid increases absorption whereas phytates uh, calcium copper iron oxalates these are normally decreasing the uh, absorption of zinc when we are talking about the dgc state 
uh, zinc deficiency is associated with wherever we have uh, we have seen the many uh, functions which where we require zinc so all those properties all those functions will be affected if we don't have zinc so zinc deficiency is associated with growth retardation uh, poor wound healing uh, anemia loss of appetites loss of test sensation impaired spermatogenesis reproductive systems will be affected it is reported that zinc deficiency in pregnant animal causes congenital malfunctions in the fetus so uh, fetus growth will be affected in case of zinc deficiency deficiency of zinc may also result in the depressions dementia and other psychiatric disorders the neuropsychiatric manifestation of chronic alcoholism may be partly due to the zinc deficiency one of the specific disease that is called acrodermatitis enteropathica normally it is going to affect our limbs uh, like limbs lips uh, faces that is a rare inherited disorder metabolic disorders where zinc deficiency is caused and this this defect in the zinc deficiency is caused mainly because of the defect in the absorption of zinc in the intestine so zinc will not be absorbed properly and because of that one we are going to have zinc deficiency and ultimately because it is going to affect the dermat uh, skins yeah for I means uh, so that's why it is called as acrodermatitis enteropathica uh, when we are talking about the zinc toxicity zinc toxicity is often uh, observed in the case of welders uh, and that mainly main reason is because they inhale the zinc oxides fumes during the welding when they are doing welding. the manifestation of zinc uh, toxicity includes nausea gastric ulcer pancreatitis anemia and excessive salivation so these are the different toxicity uh, otherwise normally we don't have toxicity mainly it is affected in some of the uh, occupation associated like uh, in case of welders so uh, this is all about the zinc hope you understand it if you have any query any comments you can write in the comment box uh thank you very much have a nice day